Global recession 2020, the inevitable next crash of the world economy. We're seeing a lot of this being talked about in the different news sources, a lot of different people coming out and talking about this, and it truly is inevitable and it will come, and I'll get into that here in this video. This article by the World Finance Review says the predicted 2020 global recession. There has been much speculation recently in the press about the impending global crash and the inevitable fallout it will cause. The predictions are now coming in thick and fast. It appears that there is a foregone conclusion that 2020 is the date the crash 2.0 will wreak havoc once again. Now, of course, there's a reason why they cover this and put this in so many different news articles. We see Economic Times, Money.com, as well as this one and many others talking about the coming global 2020 recession, the, the global crash, talking about a worldwide economic collapse. That's exactly what we're going to see eventually, whether it's in 2020, 2019, or in 10 years. But eventually this will come and it will bring in the one world system. All the nations will realize that they need to come together to create a new economic system, a worldwide, all nations involved economic system. Here it says, the, independ the Independent says, next global financial crisis will strike in 2020, warns investment bank JP Morgan. Forbes says 2020s might be the worst decade in U.S. history, triggered by contagion from a global credit crisis. So they're just bringing all of this out into the open, kind of forewarning people that this is what is going to take place. It's really the people behind the scenes and those in power, they know that this will come. They want this to come and they're getting it set up for what kind of system they can bring in when this whole thing actually starts to take place. And you can guarantee that there'll be inflation because of this. Things are going, the cost of living and the costs of things are going to go through the roof. There will be bank runs. There will be grocery store runs. There'll be runs on everything that people need for survival. That's exactly what they're doing. It's an order out of chaos situation that they want to set into place. And of course, the solution to the chaos will be one world government, one world currency, and one world belief system and religion of the false new age god will also be going on at this time. But this is going to happen. This isn't just theories. We know because of Bible prophecy that it's going to take place eventually. And I think people should take note that they're putting it out into the open in so many different news articles talking about 2020 being this time. And people should be preparing themselves for this because it's inevitable whenever it takes place, whether it's in 2020, 2050, or this year, it's inevitable. This article as well, which is interesting, the Bank of England, Carney sees the US dollar eventually losing its reserve currency status. The US dollar is the dollar that's used, that's used in trading. It's the world's reserve currency. And it's looking like that's starting to change because re people realize that it's backed by absolutely nothing. And the fact that we're in such bad debt, the dollar does not stand very well. All of this will be culminating into a collapse of a worldwide financial system setting up the new system. It says in this article by Market Watch that the, the Russians took 100 billion of its reserves, put it into the Chinese yen, Japanese yen, and euros to, di to diversify away from the US dollar. And that's going on and really any anybody with with a brain would really start to try to move away from the US dollar because the amount of debt that's behind it it will collapse eventually it is going to collapse so if you don't have some type of currency that is better than the US dollar which could be gold silver or things that people need food water tools anything that people actually need that's what people are going to use as currency. The U.S. dollar will not be used as a currency forever. It's it's going down the drain. It's useless paper. Now, the fact that all of this is being talked about right now, that the global recession 2020, I find it very interesting because it's all going to play into the one world global system. That's their whole plan. It's getting everybody on board in this whole one world, one government system. And there's another force being used in this whole situation, and it's ID 2020. All of these systems that are trying to get the entire world to be on board with one thing need to be watched because they're all going to culminate together. It's going to be a one system. Currency, money, government, rules, laws, all of it will be one. And this ID2020 is trying to do exactly that. And it's an alliance committed to improving lives through digital identity, trying to give everybody on earth their, I their own ID card. And this isn't just like, oh, well, you have your driver's license, so you're good. No, it's trying to get everybody into one system, 
one entire system all run all in one computer system you can guarantee that it will be run with facial recognition software everybody's pictures will be documented you will be in this system if you go along with it and all one needs to do is look at some of the founding partners to understand what their pro what their agenda is microsoft the rockefeller foundation the vaccine alliance and accenture which i will also get into because Obviously, the Vaccine Alliance, Microsoft, run by vaccine pusher Bill Gates, one of the top 1% global elites of the world, and the Rockefeller Foundation. Clearly, one can discern what those organizations will want. All these people want one world system. That's exactly what their whole aim is. That's what they're constantly working towards. Vaccines are a depopulation agenda. It plays into the one world system that Bill Gates loves to push. And I found it interesting looking on the Accenture website Looking at some of their trends where they're talking about what they are about and what they're into, it says new technologies are a catalyst for change. The next set of technologies every company will need to master is dark, distributed ledger technology, artificial intelligence, extended reality, and quantum computing. So it makes sense that this company would be in on it too, quantum computing and artificial intelligence doing what they can to bring in the one system. I mean, they'll use artificial intelligence to watch and track and facial recognize every single person in this one world system. That's what they're going to do. And they will be pushing in a sort of system. And this whole type of system will be like the whole chi like China's social credit score system, where this isn't just a, like your financial credit score. Your social credit score is based off of how you act in society. And what that really boils down to is just... The government approves what you do, and if you do things that they don't in particularly like, your social credit score will be lowered. So you won't be allowed to do or buy or go certain places or do certain things, fly or travel, based off of like a book you bought. Or more accurately, your social media history, the types of posts that you post, the types of people that you follow on your social media. Do you have social media accounts where you talk about politics or certain things or opposing ideas? There's a ding to your social credit score. Are you a Christian? There's a ding to your, so your social credit score. You're not allowed to fly, not allowed to drive. It's just, this is part of the one system that they're setting up. And the fact that they're just talking about a global recession is something to be alarmed by because they know all of this stuff. They really want nothing more than a global recession. They want it all to collapse so they can come in with their answer. I mean, why would they say there's a global recession if each nation has their own systems that they use in place? It really doesn't matter if the US dollar is the world reserve currency. All these different nations have different things in place. Why are they saying it's a global recession? Well, it's because they want a worldwide system to come into play. They're going to wipe away the debts of all these nations as long as everybody gets on board and accepts the new currency, which of course will follow with new laws, maybe be completely cashless, electronic, Got to get your ID2020 to be able to use this currency. And as, as well as we see with the ID2020, it's got the vaccine alliance as part of it. So when you use your ID2020, they're going to see if you have your vaccines and if you're up to date, which will also determine whether you can even use your ID, use your money, use all this and that, travel around. And if you don't, then you have to get your new vaccine. It's proud, it, This is all setting up for the one world mark of the beast antichrist system. It's so very obvious and people need to be alarmed and not just alarmed we have nothing to really fear if you're a christian and you know the truth and you know that we win they these people cannot destroy us being christians our eternity lies with jesus christ in heaven so we have nothing to fear of them but it's just good right now to get prepared for these things that are coming because this is what they're setting up and they're talking about it i mean type in global recession in youtube and look at how many articles are being written constantly talking about this recession that's coming in 2020. I mean, this one here says global recession is certainty in 2020. The Dow Jones this is by Economic Times. You don't really need to be alarmed, but what you need to be is aware and prepared. Get ready for this stuff. Christians need to be preparing for the time ahead because there's going to be a period where you're not allowed to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. So you better start preparing for that time and even if that's a ways away and they still put this id 2020 in place where you have to have forced vaccinations or you can't use your id what are you going to do 
you better know how to get your own food and you better have supplies ready on hand and be prepared for these types of things because they're going to continually force their stuff on us and unless you have ways to live without it then you're either going to be having to figure out different ways to survive or i mean that's the only option because you should never give in to this stuff people have the right to choose whether they get vaccines or, or if they want this id 2020 and all this and if you don't you should be preparing for living without it accepting jesus christ is the most important thing that you will ever do it's the one thing that they can never take away from you you're on the winning team if you believe in jesus christ so i highly recommend doing that he will lead you in your life and the decisions you should make so accept jesus christ follow what he says to do speak out against these draconian absolute ridiculous laws that they're putting into place forcing us into things that no free person should have to deal with and also get yourself prepared and think ahead for the things that you will need and how you can survive without being in the system without being in the system because the system is moving towards a controlled antichrist ran system of evil and not being a part of it is going to be extremely important thanks for watching god bless